Now let's back up a little bit. So 2020, I mentioned we started off with COVID, but that wasn't until like March really got going, yep. March and April and shit like that. Yep. But actually the beginning of 2020 was something different, something called Make Women Great Again. <laughs> now you saw that go down, that was January and February 2020. I watched your interview with Piers, it was, br- it was, it was, it was beautiful. I think I messaged you and said you yeah. nailed it. Thanks, man. You yeah. nailed it, man, yeah. you nailed it. You're like, excuse me, I need to mansplain, excuse me. <laughs> it was, I'm mansplaining here. It, yeah, it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. I loved it, it was perfect. I learned from the best, man, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, yeah. and the thing is, it's amazing how triggered everyone was by your convention, which, which only had the intention of increasing the positive interactions between males and females, right? Exactly. There's, you're not yeah. trying to do anything negative in any regard, but they yeah. just find it instantly offensive, and they find it instantly offensive because they know you're right. Why else would they be so offended? It's a shame the COVID thing happened because the COVID thing happening stopped that being the biggest yeah. deal of, of the century, I man. Know. That was going to be big, big. Then COVID came. But um, yeah, that was awesome. I loved it. I loved watching all of that. And, and, and I loved what you were saying, and I loved your message. And nice. your message, as controversial as they try and pretend it is, really isn't controversial because only 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, every woman was taught how to be a good woman by her parents, by her mother or her father. Now that they're all failing, if you get a woman in the West, a lot of the time as a man, you have to teach her how to be a woman. You know, so men have always taught women how to be women. Yeah. So it's really not that big a deal, but they just don't like being reminded of the facts. So, so. Cobra Tate's in favor of mansplaining. Basically. Yeah, oh, I'm absolutely in favor of mansplaining. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Like, and, and I don't want to, what am I talking about? I don't want to come across as a sexist. <laughs> I'm, I'm a realist. And reality is sexist. There's no sexist pigs here. Not yeah, at all. Not per- at all. Not yeah. At all. I'm a realist and reality is sexist, right? So sometimes if I'm with a chick or whatever and we're in a situation, she gives me her opinion and I'm like, look, without disrespect, you're a 19 year old female. What, what do you know mm-hmm. about the world? You don't know anything about anything. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to me. You don't know anything. I don't expect you to know anything. So I don't know why you're trying to give me your opinion because I don't, I don't put any responsibility on you to perform in, in basically any way outside of the bedroom. So just shush, don't worry about it. Leave it to me, right? So, yeah, the reality is sexist. I guess I'm a little bit of a sexist, but that's how it goes. Well, we're on the subject. We're talking about, you know, reality here, a little bit of sexism, reality, sexist nature, make yep. women great again. Yep. Talk to me about the state of American women. 